So who really got the shove, the press or the governors whose questions the president wanted to take when he threw all the journalists out? Reports what a very frustrated South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley asked Mr. Obama if he would back a last-minute plan to cut 2% from the budget without raising taxes. His very quick answer was, and I quote, no. To Nebraska's Republican Governor uh, Dave Heineman, uh, not too keen on that answer. He, 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 well, at least he was direct. What do you make of that? He... Oh, he was direct, uh, Neil, but the fact of the matter, in a $3.5 trillion budget, the idea that you can't cut 2% is absolutely ridiculous. Every governor in America knows how to do it. We've done it the last four or five years. I've balanced our state budget eight years in a row by controlling spending, not by raising taxes. That's what they ought to be doing at the federal level right now. Now, he says as things stand now, the White House does, Governor, maybe you can enlighten me, there, he's limited uh, about this. He has to kind of cut in these very restricted, some would argue severe areas, because there is no alternative. Now, Republicans hearing that s said, uh, Mitch McConnell, chief among the Republican leader in the Senate, well, we'll give you broader parameters. We'll, we'll give you the discretion to decide what in those agencies and departments to cut. Democrats quickly scoffed at that. That, to me, I don't care whether Republican or Democrat, sounded like a good idea. All right, Mr. President, you're arguing that we're we risk eating horse meat next week if we don't get a handle on, on, on not firing beef inspectors at the end of this week. Why not give you the, the discretion to avoid just that? Well, Neil, I think that'd be a great idea. Any chief executive should want that authority. But I'll share with you, when the president was asked that question in our governor's only meeting, he said he didn't want that authority either. I was absolutely why? shocked why? by that answer. I, I, I don't understand. I mean, I would argue instead of going to Virginia today to campaign, he should have brought the House and the Senate leadership together, and they should have stayed together until they worked out a deal. Now, sequestration isn't the best way to do it, but if it's the only way to reduce spending, we're going to have to move forward. Uh, they're engaged in a bunch of scare tactics right now, and the American people are smarter uh, than what they're uh, hearing from our leaders right now. They understand that's not going to happen. Well, they've lost respect. That is average voters for both parties through this whole debacle. But having said that, Governor, you know, in this give and take session with governors, did the Keystone Pipeline come up? An issue, of course, very near and dear to you. Um, because there's talk that the president might decide to go ahead with it, ticking off environmentalists, uh, maybe making a lot of unions happy. What's the latest on that? Well, it, it came up indirectly in a question from the Oklahoma governor, uh, but he didn't really respond. On the other hand, uh, you know, I've been led to believe maybe there's a possibility after doing something on climate change the president might in fact uh, approve the keystone pipeline but uh, i have no direct knowledge of that that's only uh, several sources when i was in washington dc indicated they thought that might happen yeah. so ultimately i hope he does approve it uh, it's more jobs that would help the economy uh, reduce our dependence on foreign oil everything about that would be good news for america all right, we'll see, hopefully soon, one way or the other. Governor, always good. Thank you. Thank you, Neil.